Well, it's upholstery time in our Model A Victoria, so another episode of the series. Of course, we don't know what the hell we're doing with this YouTube video, but we're going to give it a shot anyways. Let's go over here, check out what Nick has done, see where he is. Not being a good YouTuber, I didn't film much of this whole thing, but we'll see if we can piece together a story that's somewhat coherent. Okay, Nick, when I got the car from Freddie, he gave me this car, all this stuff was kind of wrapped still around the seat frames. It was it was hanging on. Barely. Yeah. Barely. So you strip this stuff off the seat frames, and really, this is such valuable stuff. The reason why is, it's our book. Well, now we know how to put it back together again. Mm -hmm. So the structure of this is such that we have cotton, Inside these, what do you call these? Pleat? Those are your channels. It's channels? channels or piping, you know, not not piping like welt, but typically it's called channeling or uh, what we know as tuck and roll because I could get into the specifics on that. There's plenty of explanations of it, but uh, long Let's story. Let's do that and put our audience right to sleep. Oh, okay. How about yeah. it? All right, guys. So we have a story for you. <laughs> Anyhow. No, 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 no. Um, so, but this gives us our exact dimensions, gives mm -hmm. us how they cut it. And it's still uh, intact. It's still really That's well intact. the most intact. important part. We have a real good unit of measurement to go off of. So they had these in pleats, and their, their pleats were stuffed with pure cotton. Mm -hmm. Then they had another cotton wad here, yep. and somewhat sewn to a piece of burlap. Yep. How are you going to build that back the other way? Are you going to do this exactly like this, or no? Uh... Not necessarily exactly like that. You know, with modern materials, we'll use foam, of course, because that's fairly commonplace. But it depends on the seat. I might use some cotton, some foam. I might use some cotton, some polyester batting, and so on and so forth. It, uh, One of the things I really like, and I don't like, but the guys that are doing this upholstery today is if they just use foam, mm -hmm. these pleats look square as hell. You get a flat little pancake. Yeah. I like a nice curve to the pleat. So mm -hmm. if you use a cotton and your foam, you get the stiffness, you get the, the rigidity in the seat that I like. I don't like the waller down the seat. I like them nice and hard. And you get a nice and little crest. And you get crest. that nice crest there. Mm -hmm. yep. So we're not going to go back with this mohair. Yeah. I, I like mohair, and a lot of the cars back in the day use mohair. Right. And it's it's fine. I see a lot of models with mohair. I, I personally don't like it because it's really rough on your clothes. It's little. rough. Itchy. Yeah, when you're wearing shorts. It's great in the winter time. It's the shits when you're wearing shorts. Yep. That's all there is to it. <laughs> so the one neat thing about this for information purposes, you see how this is all kind of green. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not really originally. It, it was brown. And here's a really good sample yep. of the brown. And, and a lot of guys will put the wrong color in. But it was brown. It wasn't green. We're almost yeah, the same color. We're almost the same. The sun <laughs> did that with the green. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this stuff over here. This is the foundation underneath our covers. Yeah, that's kind of where you have to start, aside from having your wood base. This is a shaped panel. So before we get to the covers, you got to make the foundation. And that's yep. what this is all about. Yeah, you got your seat frame, and then of course your seat base underneath that, which is made out of wood. Um, but this guy here is what I need in order to be able to attach the seat spring for the backrest up to the seat frame, and also to give you a nice firm structure on the back side for your padding and. So you're gonna put some padding out here, then the material, mm -hmm. just solid broadcloth, is gonna come down here. Yep. Mm -hmm. One of the things I think is really neat about this is that looking at this material here, yeah. that looks like some old original maybe sport coupe top material, something like that. I don't yeah. know, but I'll bet you what they did is they just used some scraps around the mm -hmm. around the plant. Yeah, whatever they had. Whatever they had, and this sure looks like a top material. And it's tough, and it definitely, uh, that stayed in one piece. Well, it lasted in a Nevada mine, so it did pretty well. Yeah. Um, this, this was actually in the mine? This was outside of the mine. Okay, gotcha. And what they did is they but stripped still. the body off of it. Yeah. And they I used the chassis that. for something in the mine, and mm -hmm. then they rolled the body down the hill. Yeah, you don't need the body. Yeah, just no. toss it. That's what <laughs> I started with. 
Let's take a look at where you are now with the seat frames. All right. So here we got the panel I was talking to you about. I can't take credit for everything on this. I made this panel here to start. Uh, and uh, well, your like trusty, said, it's trusty be... assistant is helping you with some of this stuff. Right, right. And Catherine had uh, started getting the seat springs going, so I figured I better, I better at least get this made up on the uh, day she wasn't able to be around. But I used a, a vinyl that is not the same exact green top material because I wouldn't necessarily be able to find any of that. Well, so far, if you take this thing to a show, if you're glutton for punishment and you want somebody to judge this thing, I don't think they're removing the seat cover. But I still would love to, you know, be able to say, hey, guess yeah, what's inside 100%. there? Besides adding yeah. staples, obviously. Yeah, 100%. Being a man of modern means, I like my staple guns. But uh, anyway, I replicated uh, the exact thing um, on both of those sides. So we get these guys mm -hmm. strapped in there. Yeah, and those actually... Those actually will essentially loop up through the spring, and then once that's holding onto the spring and comes around here, it gets clenched with a with a tack into the panel board. The the tack will actually act as a staple. Oh, which, so it hits this metal and just rolls up. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I, I still have to do that because you you know you can you can mangle a staple if you staple steel, but it just doesn't work the same. It doesn't so work the same. You got to do it like uh, putting soles on a shoe. So, so are these original springs, or did you buy these new? Uh, this is actually your original spring, and okay. uh, I, I believe uh, it's been a while since I tore all this stuff down. All your front seat springs should be original. They're all original. Yes. Uh -huh. And they're heavier down the, in the cushion. Yeah, you have a heavier gauge. Cause but you went through here and you rebuilt all this stuff. You used the burlap, but you used, what is this stuff here? That's just a jute padding. The jute padding, okay. Mm -hmm. That was in place of the cotton with the original. Right. And, and then I, you put the foam on here so we got a nice, even, mm -hmm. you know, the problem with cotton, if you use all cotton, you get bumpy really easy. Well, on the horse hair, like they do too. I mean, you yeah. Know, yeah. same kind of thing. They might have done both. And yeah, you, and cotton is still absolutely 110% valid for any minor deviations. But yeah. I like a nice, firm topper foam. I Bird. tore apart Kiki's bed to, to cut it up and throw it away, mm -hmm. and it had cotton stuffed in all the corners mm -hmm. of a new bed. Well, and we're still using it. Mm -hmm. Keeps Amazing. everything quiet. A new mattress. Yeah. yeah. So you did basically the same thing to the bottom. Well, I would love to say I did, but like okay. I said, I can't trust take the credit. assistant. Catherine did that. Got uh, everything re burlapped. Got a nice. Uh, Actually, I prefer a double layer burlap, just firm thing that's up a little bit more oh, that's than, a good idea. than just a single layer because it's yeah. it's so flaky. I mean, you can you can practically and tied all these springs together yep. to keep everything from moving around. Mm -hmm. No squeaks. And then you and pull this down with right here. Yeah, I like to do this if I if I see anything that's not necessarily level. You know, your springs are kind of relaxed, especially on some older original springs where they want to mm -hmm. be. Um, if I replace one, it may end up raising a corner, etc. But also to kind of help pretension, uh, depending on how the cover is sewn to. And then you I keep it really square and straight. Exactly. And, nice. and, then, and then also, you know, if I pull a little bit more compression into it sometimes when I put my cover on and I release that, then got everything where I want it for the cover. And release tension, springs pushing up against that. Everything's nice and tight as a drum. So. so you're saying you can't build a house on quicksand? Uh, well, you, well, you can try. It's a bad formula. Yeah. Now these seat frames here originally were maroon. Okay. That's what my seat frames were. They were maroon. I understand they came black too. Mm -hmm. But according to Victoria Aficionados, maroon is fine. No I copied, I, I matched this color, copied it, and sprayed those seat frames maroon. So again. maroon with brown mohair. No, I'm going to have, well, yeah. <laughs> Original. Not so good. Yeah. I'm going to have the Bedford Court. It all look fantastic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The and a maroon cover. Look great. But. Well, let's take a look at the rest of this, which is some chicken scratch stuff mm -hmm. that was on the bottom. We're also going to use that one other place in the, which is this. There's your patterns. Mm -hmm. This is the original, we call it chicken scratch. I don't know what it's supposed to be called. It makes sense to me. I mean, it's either that or uh, we looking at bacteria in a petri dish. We probably, yeah, it kind of does look like bacteria. 
we're going to call it bacteria in the petri dish mm -hmm. from now on. Um, and then they they sewed it here with a uh, artificial vinyl of some kind. We're going to figure that out and see if we can get enough of an, a piece on here that we can see exactly what that is. Yeah. Um, but this sucker, you know, basically went on here like this mm -hmm. and covered the bottom. And so that'll be pretty easy. You're just going to take this new panel that we got. This stuff is. Uh, The new panel, which is made out of ABS plastic, mm -hmm. you know, it's black plastic. We spray it with a brown sim, you know, mm -hmm. paint. It's made yep. for plastic. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna cut this guy out with your patterns, and then you're gonna sew the edge because you can sew right through this, right? Yeah. Yeah. No problem yep. with one of our five machines in here. Mm -hmm. And so you'll do that, and then this thing will fasten right on there. And we're also gonna use this for one other thing. What's that? The kick panels. All right. Mm -hmm. yes. When I was a kid, 18 years old, I found this stuff. It was fiberglass in those days. Oh, really? And I go to the Mark National Meet, mm -hmm. and I've got this stuff on there. You wouldn't believe the swarm of bees around my car just to see what I came up with on that. Did you did you have uh, like four by eight sheets of that kind of stuff back then? Or? Uh, they had to ship it, so oh, they cut it up okay. into smaller pieces. And I had a two window town sedan, so I needed two of these, because gotcha. I didn't need a very big piece. But just you could for find it. Towns. I found it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I went to the nth degree. Even the aficionados were uh, jaw dropping on that one. Nice. So, but I think most everybody has these today. So we'll cut this out, we'll use this here, we'll also use it on the kick panels. Mm -hmm. And the kick panels will also receive this same artificial leather right. uh, binding. So um, we'll do that right to the judging standards and maybe we'll be somebody. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's about where we are. The rear seats are in the same uh, condition. Right. We got them right here. No. They're ready to go. So we're going to start sewing top covers. So we'll catch that for the channel. We'll get that out to you. And um, in the meantime, Catherine is working away on the uh, panels all the way around the inside. She's got some of them done. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Isn't this beautiful? And uh, here is the Bedford cord that we're going to be using. We'll be rolled out already shot. And um, we should be flying on this thing. Cool. He got everything. Thanks, That's Nick. That's half the battle. Thanks for letting me waste your time. Hey. No. <laughs> so that's where we are on the Victoria. And uh, next time, I'm bringing you an episode in this series. We should have the seats sewn. We should have a lot of the panels installed. And maybe even some progress on the carpet. And then the next big one will be that, the top. And I don't have any rain gutters for it. I got to make them. So what I did is I bought some two-door sedan rain gutters scratching my head about how I'm going to reform them and make a Victoria ones. That'll be interesting. Till next time, take care.